The US Air Force has stated that it needs more survivable aerial tankers no later than 2040. Last year, a senior official had indicated that the US Air Force is abandoning its KCY and KCZ approach to developing and procuring refueling tankers and is instead moving on to a next-generation aerial refueling model like its program to develop the sixth-generation fighter. Andrew Hunter, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, had earlier stated that the Air Force plan had been to procure 175 KCY tankers, also referred to as a bridge tanker, to replace the retiring KC-135s and fill the gap until the KC-Z tankers came into production in the 2040s. So, with that approach cancelled, a completely new advanced tanker is being thought of. The U.S. Air Force had sent out a Request for Information, or RFI, last year regarding a new tanker that could survive in contested airspace. The RFI mentioned that the service was open to creative concepts in all sizes and performance classes that might potentially meet the demanding mission criteria. Now, Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works has released a new rendering of a stealthy aerial tanker which could be proposed for the USAF's Next Generation Air Refueling System or NGAS program. In this video, Defense Updates reports on Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works new stealthy aerial tanker. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Aerial refueling is a critical component given the complexities of a modern-day conflict. The need for low-observable tankers is being felt like never before. To counter Western aerial domination, countries like Russia and China have deployed sophisticated air defense systems as part of the Anti-Access and Area Denial A2AD, strategy. Russia has deployed S-300 and S-400 and is in the process of operationalizing the S-500. China has HQ-9 and HQ-12 SAM. They have a range of hundreds of miles. These weapons could inflict a huge amount of damage to aerial assets like fighters, bombers, aerial tankers, and airborne warning and control system aircraft. Even in the Ukraine-Russia conflict, we've seen that limited Western air defense systems have resulted in a lot of losses for Russia. This has even made Russia resort to lobbing long-range cruise missiles from far off, which is a very expensive strategy. If the tankers cannot operate close enough to put those combat jets into effective range of their targets or get them to combat air patrol areas, then USAF won't be able to achieve air dominance, which is critical. Next Generation Air Refueling System, or NGAS, is a recognition of the fact that the current crop of non-stealthy tankers will have serious challenges surviving in an A2AD environment. The Air Force presently utilizes KC-46, KC-135, and KC-10 tankers, with plans to completely phase out the latter by the end of this year. Additionally, the aging KC-135 fleet is slated for a reduction in size. Lockheed Martin has not disclosed technical details, but a look at the image provides some insights. The tanker design, depicted in the new Skunk Works rendering, notably diverges from the blended wing body concepts for advanced tanker and cargo aircraft that Lockheed Martin has previously showcased publicly. The rendering features a broad platform with huge clipped wings, resembling lambda wings. Two relatively small vertical tails are outwardly canted, and there's a narrow forward fuselage segment that protrudes at the front. A substantial amount of fuel would likely be stored in the big, broad wings, 
to facilitate the aerial refueling operation. The engine can be seen beneath the left wing, which is connected to the center fuselage of the aircraft. Stealth aircraft commonly feature engines positioned deep within the main fuselage, a design choice aimed at minimizing radar detection. Additionally, the two air intakes are typically rounded and set back into the fuselage. Further, the whole arrangement suggests that the boom that projects from the NGAS's belly during refueling might operate entirely on its own without the assistance of a boom operator. The tanker seems to have been designed for extremely long-range missions, as seen by the refueling port located on the top of the tanker, which suggests that the tanker may be able to take fuel from another tanker while in flight. The clear cockpit view hints that the aircraft would have a crew of two. This is a notable departure from previous tankers, which have all operated with two pilots along with an additional boom operator and sometimes other crew members. Non-stealthy combat aircraft are all susceptible, but tankers and AWACS are especially at risk since they are not as agile as a fighter which can dodge incoming projectiles with last-second high-G maneuvers. USAF is actively pursuing the modernization of its aircraft and weapon systems to effectively operate in a challenging and hostile environment against technologically advanced adversaries. The shift represents a departure from the two decades of warfare primarily conducted in uncontested airspace within the Middle East. While it's hard to judge everything from images, it seems like a decent, low-observable design, and that should be enough. Aerial tankers are not intended to penetrate deeply into heavily contested airspace. Instead, they operate along the outskirts, allowing more survivable assets to advance further. Conducting low-altitude refueling operations could enhance their survivability further. It's important to note that NGAS is envisioned as a family of systems, of which a stealthy tanker is only expected to be one component. So, apart from stealth, the tanker could have other systems to enable operations in high-threat environments. For example, this might involve serving as a standoff electronic warfare and networking hub or potentially as a platform capable of deploying its own weaponry and drones. There are clear indications that U.S. Air Force's forthcoming tanker fleets, or at least some of them, will undergo significant transformations from their current configurations. They will also most likely be much more expensive to buy and operate. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works is well known for cutting-edge engineering. It'll be interesting to see how this shapes up in the coming days. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.